All right, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Big dog, Bane Dawson, back at you again with a Colts breakdown. I missed last week's breakdown for the Miami Dolphins game. It was incredibly busy. Um, but now I'm a little, little less busy, but still pretty busy. So I needed to get to a breakdown. This is a massive game in the AFC South. The Indianapolis Colts head down to the Houston Texans and uh, is it NRG Stadium. This is going to be a tough game. Okay, the, the Houston Texans are favored by five. They're without their star wide receiver, Nico Collins. But that doesn't mean that they can't get it done on offense. Last time we played the Houston Texans, Joe Mixon had himself a day. He ran for 160 yards against us. Nico Collins in that game did have over 100 yards and a big third down conversion. Here are the stats, though. The Houston Texans offense was first in passing with 272 yards per game in week one through five with Nico Collins. Since being without Nico Collins the last two games, 115 yards and they're in last in passing in the NFL in those two weeks. That's definitely a big blow to the Houston Texans offense. C.J. Stroud had a career low passing 86 yards last week against the Green Bay Packers. Now the Colts and the Texans, this is obviously a rivalry. We've, you know, played back since 2002 when the Texans came in the NFL and they were in the AFC South. It's been, you know, starting to get more and more back into that rivalry since back when Luck and J.J. Watt were going at it. The last four out of the five games that the Colts and Texans have gotten together have been decided by four points or less. So this game is going to come down to the wire. I, I do think, spoiler alert, I do think the Texans win this game, unfortunately. Now, if we look at the standings in the AFC South, the Texans currently are in first place at 5-2, and two, and the Colts are in second place at 4-3. and three. Now, the Texans already beat the Colts in Week 1, 29-27. But even if the Colts can manage to get an upset on the road at Houston, the Texans would be at 5-3, and three, the Colts would be at 5-3, and three, the Texans would then have a 2-1 division record, and the Colts would have a 2-2 two two division record at that point. So, even if the Colts get the upset on the road, the Texans will still be in first place in the division. But, this game is as big as it gets. This is the biggest game thus far to this season. You're 4-3, okay? Let's look at the scenario. If the Texans do win, they'll go 6-2. We'll go to 4-4. Four and four. When they'll have the tiebreaker, the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over us, because they'll have swept us and gotten two victories over us. The Jaguars are at two and five, right? The Tennessee Titans one and five. So to say that this is a massive game in the AFC South would be an understatement. Now this is actually an NFL record. After seven weeks, the Colts are the only team to have all of their games decided by six points or less. That's the first time that a team has done that the first seven games in the season. This game is going to be close. Regardless of how you slice it, how you dice it, the Texans and the Colts are going to duke it out until the very end. And I, I, I hate admitting this, but C.J. Stroud absolutely scares me, especially against this defense. And I know they only held the Miami Dolphins to 10 points last week, but, that, but a Miami Dolphins with, with Snoop Huntley and Tim Tyler Boyle, Tim Boyle, um, he got cut anyway. He got cut. <laughs> is not the Texans with C.J. Stroud. Now, going back to the Nico Collins thing. Nico Collins has been kind of what T.Y. Hilton was against the Texans. He has been a Colt killer. Every single time he steps on the field against us, he balls out, gets over 100 yards. Now, he is out. I never run a route for a guy being out. I, you know, I want to beat you at your best. Okay, if we're going to beat you... I want to beat you at your best. But it is part of the game. It is it is going to affect the outcome of the game. Now, Stephon Diggs has been doing all right. He did have two touchdowns against us the last time we played the Texans in Indianapolis. I would imagine the Colts would dial in on him. I'm not sure that Tank Dell is doing as well as people thought that he would. But another aspect of this game that's going to be very important is Joe Mixon. The Colts can't stop the run. A big key run stopper, though... Could be coming back for the Indianapolis Colts and DeForest Buckner. He has missed the last four games. 
I don't remember what he did to get injured. I just know he's been on IR. He might come back. That would be a big deal. We'll see what happens. I, I know I don't know for sure. He's still questionable. Jonathan Taylor is looking to come back. Now, I would imagine that he might be limited. The Texans have had trouble in the past stopping Jonathan Taylor. Now, week one, they, they did it against Jonathan Taylor. They held him in, in check. Anthony Richardson actually led the Colts in rushing that game 56 yards. Now, that is another aspect of this game. What will Anthony Richardson do? What will Anthony Richardson bring to this game? I think having Jonathan Taylor alongside him in the backfield will definitely help. I think the Colts are going to lean heavy on the run. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe, you know, maybe they will do, a, they will probably do a considerable amount of passing. But I, I really think that the Colts lean heavy on the run in this game. And that if they can succeed at that, they have a chance to win this game. But let's talk about defense. The Texans have a solid defense. They're ranked third in the league in total yards, fourth in passing, eighth in rushing. Hopefully you can get some big plays going, get some deep balls to Alec Pierce, get Michael Pittman involved in this game. I know he's been banged up. He was limited in practice this week. So we'll see if he gives it a go on Sunday. I would imagine that he does. Also, you need to get Josh Downs involved in the game. You really, really do. With Anthony Richardson, Josh Downs is one of the least targeted guys on the field. Um, he needs he needs to get him more involved. They need him because he's just too good to not get involved. And D'Amico Ryan's he has he has thought about Josh Downs being a difference maker because Josh Downs, if you remember, didn't play in that Week One contest. Now he's back, and and D'Amico Ryan's has acknowledged that he's definitely going to have a game plan for him. So you got to be ready. You really got to be ready. This game is going to come down to the turnovers, of course, stopping C.J. Stroud. As tough as that sounds, you got to stop him, okay? You couldn't do it in the Loud House. Now you go down to the Stroud House, and you a place where actually C.J. Stroud hasn't beaten the Colts yet. They lost last season. We'll see what happens this season. He's 2-0 in the Loud House, 0-1 in the Stroud House against the Colts. So, uh, but... Like I said, I do think that that changes this Sunday, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's really hard for me to pick the Indianapolis Colts in Houston. Texans minus five in this one. But we'll see what happens. Here's the hoping for, for a Colts victory. I'd love to come on here and react and tell you that I was completely wrong and the Colts dominated, but only time will tell. That's all I got for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like subscribe to my channel, share this video to all your friends. I'm the big dog named Austin. Go Colts!